morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And thank you again for our time together once more overlooking the beautiful city of Jerusalem. Mark chapter 10, beginning with verse 24. The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Now, that's fascinating to me. That whole verse about all things are possible with God doesn't deal with a miracle of healing. It deals with the miracle of the salvation of a rich man. Now, if you're rich, please don't get mad at me for a moment. But it's hard for rich people to get saved. It amazes me why churches and preachers today go after, I want to build a church of rich people. Well, usually they do that by not challenging them about anything. Don't talk to them about their extramarital affairs. Don't talk to them about their number twos. Don't talk to them about their corruption in business. Please, I know I'm making you mad. But at some point, if people are going to be saved, they have to, ha they have to hear truth. Now, Jesus said it's difficult for a rich man to get saved. For the same reason it was difficult for the rich young ruler to get saved. Because they, they put so much focus on money in their life. So Jesus told the rich young ruler, go give everything you have away and come and follow me. The greatest invitation, that young man might have become an apostle. You don't know what could have been. That young man might have become one of the 12 apostles. What could have been? But he did not. He turned away an incredible destiny because his money was more important to him than following Jesus. Now, brothers and sisters, we have to remember what Moses said to the people of Israel, that when they prospered, when they were wealthy, they might forget that it was God who gave them the power to produce wealth. We had to remember what Jesus teaches us in the parable of the sower and the seed about the deceitfulness of riches. Our nation is entering into a beautiful time of prosperity. I've often told you that I understood how to pastor a people in poverty and bring us into seeing God meet our needs. But I'm having to learn new lessons about pastoring a church that is becoming wealthy, people that are becoming wealthy. And forgive me if I have to get in your face a little bit and say, you know what? When you didn't have money, you had God. Hang on to God. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the deals you lose because you won't compromise your values. When you didn't have money, you had God. You don't need money, you need God.